Hi, it's Patrick with E38. In this video, I'll show you what you can do with a free Emlid account in Emlid Flow and Emlid Flow 360. First, let's create an account. Either in the Emlid Flow app or in a web browser, navigate to flow360.emlid.com. The process will be nearly identical if you open Emlid Flow and tap profile, then log in. You have the option to create your account with an email and password or linking to your Apple, GitHub, or Google accounts. Note that if you sign in using different methods, you will create separate accounts linked to the sign in method. Let's continue in Flow360. After we've created the account and are signed in, we will start in the All Projects screen. Click New Project, then give it a name. Notice we are given clear visual cues as to what is locked behind the survey subscription. Namely here, we are unable to load any code libraries. I'm going to choose a local coordinate system and make sure I'm using the right linear units before I create the project. Now that I'm in my project, we are given a basic map view from the map box. Changing the background layers to satellite imagery or any custom WMS layers is only available in the survey subscription. We are also unable to use inverse or traverse tools and are limited to only points in the free version. We can manually add some points if we have some known coordinates, or better yet, we have the option to import whole point files in CSV, DXF, Shapefile, or KML. Let's go ahead and import a CSV. Now, with my prep complete in Flow360, since my tablet is currently connected to the internet and logged in with my Emlet account, it will automatically sync this project to it. In Emlet Flow, we can fully configure our receiver for its use case. Then to stake out one of the points we imported, we can tap the point on the screen, then tap stake out to start navigating to it. If we want to collect new points, we just back out to the map view and select the blue plus button, then measure. It's a good idea to first check that your pole height is correct, and then tap the settings icon and turn on averaging. Even for just one second, we'll be more reliable than an instant collection, since we would have the average of five points instead of a single point tied to the coordinate. The only other tool available in the free version is the base shift. I'm using a network rover, so that won't be applicable here. Once we're done in the field, the data we've collected will sync to Flow360, where we can export it to our computer easily. Our export formats are limited to the same types as our import, those being CSV, DXF, KML, and shapefiles. This has been Patrick with the E38 Survey Solutions. Thanks for watching.